Okay, now I would like to open the floor, open to any faculty members who have been involved in Capstone's committees or being in the Honors Project for family members and friends. Uh, there's a group of faculty members who represent a range of various disciplines and their responsibility was to read the proposals that students made from the committee after the faculty committee did after the student did their research and then presented to the faculty committee then these individuals read to ensure that they were following standards provided feedback and input finally from there approved and then students continued working these individuals were involved from the very beginning as students worked through one entire school year and another so again i would like to honor those who have read it and approved the final project it's a very in-depth process so I guess now I'd like to open the floor to any faculty members who would like to speak to the capstone experience or to those who are interested in sharing their views or experience. Is it me? I'm Roseanne. Sorry, Shirley. I just didn't want to make sure that I um, didn't take Jennifer's spotlight if she wanted it. I'll try and move the light. Um, sorry, I cannot see the interpreter, so I'm not sure if I'm being interpreted. Interpreter, can you let me know? Yes, if I'm being... you will be interpreted. Okay, okay thank you. Um, maybe we should oh. put the interpreter on spotlight instead of you. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'll spotlight the interpreter instead of you. Okay, great, thank you. And it's Ella as the okay. interpreter to spotlight. Okay, thank you. Interpreter Sorry. underscore Ella. Okay. Um, okay. This is Dr. Rushing, and first I wanted to thank both Shirley and um, Dr. Whitebread for their patience and their guidance since this was my first time being an honors capstone advisor. Having said that, I was extremely fortunate that for my first time I was able to be the advisor for Ashney and for Casey who are amazing students and they made my job easy. Um, I have no doubt that both Ashni and Casey will be future leaders in public health. And I really look at this as not their graduation or their ending, but to kind of a lifelong journey together. And um, the best part was that we, all three of us are Californians. So I think that made it easier for everyone. Too. So thank you, thank you to Ashney and Casey. You guys are amazing. And I know that we will continue this journey together as public health professionals. Congratulations. Thanks. Dr. Rushing, you were marvelous to work with and, and you are very clear. It's like the students really appreciate your expertise and the importance of the whole field of public health. So stay a value so much. <laughs> now Great. another Thank person you. I value is Dr. Nelson and I will spit the spotlight to her. Hello, congratulations everyone. I am on the Honors Council, have been on for ooh, 20 years, I think. This last year, I think, has been one of the absolute best years. Being a reader, evaluating, having discussions, viewing proposals, all of it. I just want to say how impressed I am, and I also wanted to say congratulations and good luck with everything moving forward. Whether you move on to graduate school or go into the workforce, whatever you decide to do, best of luck. Hi everyone. I'm Deborah Schooler. I'm a psychology department faculty member and I have long worked with the honors capstone pro process as a Faculty member, I've been a reader, and this is my first year serving on the Honors Council. This means it's been my first opportunity to read everyone's projects, and it's been so amazing, so impressive. 
your focus on the discipline, the amount of work you've put into it, reading everyone's projects has been absolutely amazing. I just wanted to say thank you for sharing your work. I know how much hard work has gone into this from beginning to end. So thank you for all that you've done and for sharing this experience with us. And for those of you who are here to support students, whether you are a faculty or staff member or family or friends, they've done amazing work and that truly reflects your investment in them. Thank you. Thank you. I have to note that your expertise is also in teaching statistics uh, and how to explain them, how to use them. You are fantastic at that role and we've always enjoyed having you. Uh, and we've had enjoyed having you on our council and hope you will continue to serve future students. Hello everyone. I'm Brendan Stern in the Department of Government. First, I would like to say thank you so much to Shirley. I remember having so much fun being a Gallaudet student myself long, long, long ago, 20 years ago in the honors program. So taking classes under Shirley and then blinking and here I am 20 years later to see all of this now. Wow, I am on the Honors Council. To see the quality of feedback that you've given students is, it's been absolutely astonishing. Uh, having gone through school, undergraduate and then graduate and then doctoral, all of that, I have firsthand experience and I know how lucky they all are to have had you. So I just wanted to say amazing work and I miss you. And I also wanted to commend Amanda for her continuous persistence, you know, being a doctoral student in general. Um, she knows there's still a long way to go, continuing to persevere until the very end and then turning in her paperwork. I know she's going to do amazingly well. And this experience as she continues on with life as well. But also I'd like to congratulate the entire group of students. I am very excited to see what you all have to offer. I'd just like to reinforce that Angela is tough. And part of this is really the ability to have grit. That's what we look for in the admissions process to the honors program. We want to be able to support them because yes, you do have to have skill and curiosity and you need to be prepared and all of that. Yes, but you have to have that want, that drive and that passion for this. Uh, and that's hard to do sometimes. Uh, so yes, I saw it firsthand. Angela really never gave up, never complained, really took the bull by the horns and never gave up. Uh, and every student did that. Uh, I'd also like to say that the feedback that I've sent that came from the council is really one of the key significant pieces to this in honors education because we try to teach at an undergraduate level uh, but in more detail with more guidance and that type of work is supposed to be on a graduate level that all gets handed to a graduate and told to be done it do it yourself and so it is uh, many honor students tell me that they are completely ready for the graduate school experience because of their honors programs expectations and because they value all of the feedback from the honors council and the committee themselves. They are teaching in specialty fields for the students and that is key as well. Uh, that is one of the big values in this program. So I'd like to just see if anyone else has Hello everyone. I'm Tanya Strimlau from the English department. I was a reader as well as a chair uh, in, Jay's, in Jay's project. And there have been so many creative writing projects uh, that I have been through and this was the longest. It was 300 pages and that was after telling them to shorten a bit. She had a lot to say. She really did have a lot to say. Now, what do I say? I'm, I'm very thankful to the council for reading all of this. Most projects are not quite that long, but the words that are there, they all count. They're all critical. 
So I just wanted to say thank you for your support with the project. Okay. Thank you. Let me just pull up my screen here. Hi, I'd like to speak to Ashni. I have been, or I've worked with her through NTID in Rochester. I'm the Dev Health Director over there. And working at the lab at NTID, I really, really enjoyed one of Ashni's papers that she traded in, turned in about home birth compared to hospital setting births. It was an amazing paper. There's a lot of vested interest in deaf parents, specifically deaf mothers, and I think that's a critical aspect of health disparities. That's something that needs to be corrected. Deaf Health Research Lab primarily focuses on decreasing those disparities and creating a more equitable experience. So Ashni's research is critical. It's very important. I hope she continues. I hope she continues her work on that arena in the future, maybe in the doctoral program, perhaps in my lab. We'll see if you need networks, if you need other people, that's another great thing about graduate school. It's the development of the network. If you need to reach out to anyone to assist you in this area, please just let me know. That's all, thank you. Yes, so I'd like to thank you so much for those comments, especially because Ashni has so much capability and is so mature and has so much curiosity and she may not always realize it, uh, but when you make those comments, I realize, yeah, she should be on getting her PhD and going to medical school, we need her. Yeah, absolutely, so I'm so happy that you had such a great working experience together. Hello. Oh, it's difficult to get everybody's attention. Whew, I've suddenly become very large. Okay. Hi. Yes, I just wanted to say I remember Shirley from my first semester at Gallaudet and my, oh my, it was a wonderful experience. She's such a wonderful teacher. I learned so much from you. And then next semester, I took Dr. Nelson's class and was promptly given a very, very large book. Um, it's still on my bookshelf. I've kept it. It's been such an honor to work with all of you. And I just wanted to congratulate all of the students. This has definitely been one of my best experiences and times as a faculty member, getting together as a group to get into detail and discuss their work and then collaborate with students. I've truly appreciated it. Congratulations. I'm so grateful for your comments. I'm, ha I'm also grateful that you didn't mention how many years ago you were my student, uh -huh. uh, but you are a significant part of this program. Anytime you've been called to action, uh, that it, you have come to the table, and that is one of the high marks that uh, I would like to recognize in you. I know that you've been on some cap capstone committees in the past and uh, saw them successfully uh, get to graduation as well. I just want to make sure that I hadn't missed anyone else. President Cordano would like to comment. Anyone else? Oh, yes, President Cordano, you'd like to say something fantastic. Yes, and I just wanted to take a moment here to also recognize. Oh, I'd also like to take a moment just to recognize that our provost, Dr. Carol Erding, she will be stepping down on June 30th. And this really is her last honors group and program uh, graduates under her leadership. And I know that you've been working very closely with her throughout the years. And so I do want to recognize and thank Dr. Erding for her leadership and for her support for the honors program over the years um, during her tenure as provost. And her support has been amazing. I've seen that firsthand through my presidency and watching her comments about the, you know, the honors program. So I thought it would be uh, important for us to also recognize Dr. Erding, but also you, Dr. Myers, at the same time, um, because of the fact that I know that she'll be stepping down. But I do wanted to just, uh, you both will be stepping down. And so I just wanted to recognize her leadership and also yours for this wonderful program.
Thank you. And I'd also like to say thank you to Dr. Erding. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to make it today, but hopefully she has the opportunity to watch the recording and to see my comments as well. Thanks for her strong support. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for your strong support. Absolutely. In addition to that, her research expo allowing students to be able to present to the community as a whole that was a great boost for all every it's it was everything that honors programs stand for so right and for the parents and families who are here that may not realize that gallaudet in 2019 it was again so for families and students perhaps as well for those who may not realize that in 2019 gallaudet became an r2 university so we're now officially recognized as a research tier university. Uh, we're considered a national research university and we are looking to you know, grow and expand the research and that's been done here through the honors program. So it's very clear that research is needed in our community and the impact that you all then have, we hope that you will be able to continue this interest and continue this work going forward. Absolutely. And I think with that, maybe we should move on to the next component of the program. Hmm, a box popped up right in front of my screen. Oh, pardon me. What I would like to do now is invite the students and those who have completed capstone and are graduating with honors. They'll tell you about their capstone projects in the recordings. But at this time, I'd like to invite them to share more personal comments, to share some of the highlights and some of the challenges, perhaps some of the humorous moments during this year and a half they've been working on their capstone project. So now I open the floor up to any students. Anybody willing to go first? Bryn, yes, she is always right there and ready to go. Okay. Yes, I'd like to say thank you to Shirley and the committee and everyone for all of their support, sitting down with Shirley on a weekly basis, continuing to discuss not just the project, but our lives and having all sorts of discussions outside of the project. We've lost so many hours just having fun. So I really enjoyed that. It was a good break, honestly, from the project. It was a great time to focus on something else. So I really appreciated that. Not only that, but the development of my project was a pretty interesting experience. I started in one area and then moved to a different area, I wanted to try something new in accounting that was a little more difficult. Uh, you know, you're supposed to follow the rules in accounting. So with my project, it was a little bit, it would have been impossible without my committee. So I just wanted to say thank you. Yes, thank you. I've really enjoyed the one on one with everyone getting to know each individual person as well as how their work incorporates into that their future career plans. Bryn's always been very ambitious, you know, like I said, she has a has grit being a volleyball player, but that grit applies to her work as an academic as well. Always on time work is always ready to go on time. I always need to ensure that I am pay paying attention and ready to go. She is very, very reliable, and I think that's required to be successful in life. You know, developing those types of habits, professionalism, and that, I just truly really appreciate that, and I've enjoyed seeing it. Any other students? I see you, Stefania. Hi, one second. Hello, I'm Stefania. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Shirley, to my committee, to everyone who helped me with my project. Uh, it was a lot of work and sweat and time investment and fun at the same time. And I realized uh, I really wanted to recognize my committee and Dr. Emily Meehan, my chair, 
for all of the time she was willing to communicate with me and meet with me and give me all of the guidance about the profession. I realized so much more to it than just where my idea started. I would run things by her, make sure certain things were okay. There were other things I never even realized. Uh, as she added to the depth of my work, it really challenged the work that I did and opened me up more in my mind. And I'm very thankful for her. And she just has that ability to do that, that type of mind. And I realized uh, how much I really enjoyed that process and my project and uh, getting people to take my survey was probably the toughest part of my capstone experience. Uh, but I was, be, I was able to persist on with it and find a way to make it work. Uh, and get findings. It was really a great experience. Uh, just thank you so much. Beautiful. Yes. Uh, Stefania really is minimizing the amount of time she truly put into it. She put so much time and effort into getting respondents to answer to her survey questions. Most people are resistant to math in general and won't even respond to short surveys. Even when she would tell them it was really short, she just had to continue to persevere. She had to work to collect the data for the project. So I guess that's another good example of grit. But in addition to that, I do think what doctors, what Stefania said about Dr. Meehan is true. And Dr. Meehan is good at not only teaching mathematics, but teaching how to explain mathematics. So she provided great feedback and Stefania really took it in. She absorbed it. And, you know, anytime I reminded her, she would absolutely get going and do it again. And then, you know, she, was worried that somebody would swear, but it didn't happen. But anywho, Stefania did great work. Okay, who's next? Ashni? Where are you? Let's see. Hi, I'm Ashni. I wanted to say thank you, Shirley, for, uh, of course, as everyone else mentioned, the amazing job you've done. Honestly, when I first came to Gallaudet, I, I felt really, I wasn't ready. I was nervous. It was a difficult transition, but the experience I've had over the last two years has been amazing. The support has been amazing. I'm going to miss seeing you every week and the support you've given me. I love you. Thank you so much for everything you've done. And I would also like to say thank you to my committee, Dr. Rushing, as well as Dr. Chulik, the interpreter's not sure how to pronounce that, but the amazing work that has gone into the research. I mean, just to learn so much more about the field and to continue to persevere and encourage me to continue with the research and just has helped me through all of the issues I've faced. One example of that being one of the most difficult things was the Institutional Review Board and their approval. And working with a group of deaf women could be, it's not a typical research group, so that was one potential barrier, and I had a difficult time obtaining approval for that. That put off my data collection for quite a while, but once I finally received approval and began moving forward with my surveys, the responses back were absolutely amazing. I think it was one of the most positive experiences I've ever had. People reaching out to me and saying, thank you so much for doing this. It's essentially gone viral. It, I mean, I went beyond my capacity in just a matter of two days. So it was amazing. It does show that this field does need further research. We do need to add to what we know. And I've just really enjoyed doing it. So thank you so much. Gee, I'm beginning to think that maybe a virtual open house is even better than the ones in person at breakfast because I've never had so many personal comments and remarks from everyone. I think it's very meaningful. So thank you to that. Uh, thank you to you all for that. And yes, Ashni is one of those individuals where we were wondering whether or not she would get IRB approval because of the sensitivity, sensitivity of the topic. And she got approval in December and really dug in and was able to get everything completed on time. And so that's just another sign of her commitment to success. 
I want to say Ashley also wanted to make some comments, or Angela, excuse me. Uh, correction to the interpretation, Angela had some comments. Yes, I do, please. Perfect, thank you. I wanted to begin by saying thank you to my committee as well as Shirley for all of the work and helping me develop my paper and college level, graduate level work. So I truly appreciate all the assistance. I'd also like to recognize somebody that's not here in the meeting today, Dr. Jeffrey Whitebread. Uh, he has helped me so much over the years in developing ideas, changing ideas I had initially developed. Um, as I mentioned, focusing on Filipino sign language, um, I began with an entirely different idea about two years ago, I want to say, and then it's changed over that time. So I wanted to say thank you for his continued support from day one until now. Same thing with the Institutional Review Board. It was a little okay. difficult for me getting through, ensuring everything was processed appropriately. And now having gone through it all, I think I'm ready for the next thing, graduate school, and I will be I enjoyed meeting with Shirley as well. I think if it weren't for the continuity of meeting with Shirley and with other students and those interactions, I think we really learned from one another. And I just, I learned a lot from everybody. So congratulations to everyone here. Thank you so much for mentioning Jeffrey, Jeffrey Whitebread. Uh, he is in the process of studying for his PhD, and once he successfully did that, he was going on to the public administration program to teach. Uh, but he did serve on the Honors Council. And I'm happy that you mentioned Jeffrey because we have collaborated as equal partners, and he has contributed so much to this program. And I appreciate him very deeply and will miss him as well. Likewise. Okay, who's next? I see two people. Michaela. Hi everyone. I just wanted to say thank you, Shirley, so much for everything, as well as thank you, Jeffrey, the committee members. It really means a lot to me, Shirley, the way in which you valued not only our academic success, but us as people, who we are holistically. I think that that means a lot to me, just knowing that I've had support in my academic pursuits, but as well as support as a person. You really challenged me. You challenged me to continue to push to be successful and to do amazing work. I know you have given me the skills I need to succeed in an academic environment, but not only that, but to continue towards a higher level of research. And you really challenged me to push through when I was feeling frustrated, when I couldn't find something I was looking for. You just pushed me to continue furthering that research on my own. You gave me the skills I needed to succeed and to do so at a graduate level, which I really appreciate. I appreciate all the support and I'm really excited to continue on with my research in graduate school. In addition to that, I appreciate what the program has given me. It's given me you know, additional challenges to develop the skills that I need and to continue working on that. So I appreciate everything that the councils, the, the council, the honors council, the professors, everything, the students, all that everyone has done to continue to support one another in order to achieve, achieve a higher academic and more rigorous standing. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Gee, I'm starting to become very embarrassed. Uh, I really thought that you wanted to talk to your families. Uh, the people who brought you to this point at Gallaudet University and that they made it possible for you to get into the honors program. Hello, people. Thank you so much to all of the parents for your wonderful support, to the brothers and sisters and loved ones and family members that you're growing up with throughout the years. Thank you so much to the families. Casey has a comment. 
Hi, everyone. Sorry, I was sort of rearranged a little bit. Uh, I will talk a little bit first and then gratitude at the end. I wanted to share first about my project uh, about bilingualism, ASL and English. It's always fascinated me. I wanted to do something with it. I wanted to create a storybook app. Uh, and I, but I wanted to do it again with the bilingual approach, ASL and English. So I wanted to say thank you to the Motion Light Lab, ML2. They already have a storybook app. So I checked in with them and they said they were willing to work with me on my Honors Capstone project. So I've been working with Melissa Mouse Kuhn. I have learned so much. I've learned more about why bilingualism is so critical. I've been both developing the app as well as putting together a vocabulary list, learning how to develop a program, knowing that it's limited to audible programs. Uh, that, that was a little bit frustrating. So I had to challenge myself with the development. I had to create it and develop it from scratch. I had to write the scripts. I had to do all of these things in order to create a bilingual app. I had to bring in deaf parents to figure out what types of books deaf children needed, you know, and talking about sharing being the moral of the story that I thought was really, really important. My app is a story about sharing a blue crayon. Um, but anywho, the idea of bilingualism and how important it is, I just wanted to thank, thank you so much to Dr. Myers to Dr. Whitebread, and of course, to my honors council members and my parents, my family, everyone that's been involved. Thank you so much for making all of this possible. But anywho, I had to create the scripts. I had to bring in a very famous ASL storyteller. If you know Rosalie Timms, very, 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 very significant honor that she was willing to sign out the script I created. If you don't know who she is, just go on YouTube and type in Rosa. Lee Timms, and I strongly suggest you do. She is amazing. So it was an honor, honor to have her sign out the ASL story. And then we had Yi Chao Wang. If any of you have been into the signing Starbucks in DC, there's artwork all on the walls. She is the one who did all of that. She's absolutely amazing. They're both amazing and they've done very amazing work. And they were both a part of my project. I think without their support, it wouldn't have been as great a success. So I just want to say thank you to everyone for everything for this entire project. It's all meant so much. I've learned so much and I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for the honors program. I'm actually still working in ML2, the motion light lab that develops bilingual storybook apps. Um, working with Dr. Harmon, but right now I'm just focusing on the work and even though I'm done with the honors program and again, thank you, Dr. Shirley and Dr. Whitebread. Oh, that was beautiful. All of you are really proving my point about having that grit because you're right you ran into uh many frustrations throughout your project and came to the point where you thought you were going to have to start a new project and submit new uh proposals to the council and your app is just another example of people sticking with it and that that's a high skill set in this group of people uh, her project was started two or three years ago and we thought that she was going to get finished and then she continued into another year and then we went back in the fall and she came back on break and started working on it again and so uh, many of you faculty have worked on dissertations and <laughs> know the delays uh, that those can, that can happen and especially with her project who have i missed Casey. Yes, let me find Casey. Where are you? Perfect. Can everyone see me? Uh, apologies, I'm in the middle of a big road trip, so I didn't know what else to do. I just pulled over in the best place I could find. 
I guess I will begin with a short story. So I'm in the public health program and you know it was just implemented during my freshman year. I was a biology major and I thought, why not? I minored in public health and I was really drawn to it. It was really interesting. I saw honors capstone as basically a way to follow my fascination in public health. Uh, at that time though, there was no director for the public health program. There were only a few faculty members. So I reached out to Dr. Carolyn Solomon. If, you know, if anyone, if she had any suggestions about my honors capstone project, uh, they had, she did say that they had someone in mind, but they hadn't yet been hired to direct that program. And then time went on and come to find out it was Dr. Rushing. Hmm, a new person. Okay, so I went into it and worked with her for about a year or so. And I have to say it was an amazing experience. Not just that, but not only Dr. Rushing, but Dr. Myers, Dr. Abby Simons, Dr. Whitebread, all my classmates, the Honors Council, all the support that's been given to help make this happen. I really appreciate everyone's involvement. I think I'm going to say one of the things that I appreciate appreciate about Casey is uh, she always turned her work in on time. She always had a can-do attitude, uh, and she always had to really grill me on exactly what I meant by my feedback until she understood it completely. And I loved that she took the time to really understand it and have those takeaways. That's a skill that she has that shows her ability to really want to dive in and understand completely. So I think that we got to everyone. Yes. Oh, Jay. Jay is here. And Hannah is waving as well. Where is she? Oh, Hannah, would you like to say something? Hi, everyone. I'm Jay. I want to start by saying thanking, start by thanking everyone involved for all the amazing work. The committee, Dr. Whitebread, Shirley, my classmates. I have learned so much from everybody and I was so inspired from everyone as well. I've enjoyed every single moment of this. I love all of you. And one thing I would like to say is the thing that truly impacted me throughout my project, I would have to say was just talking. Talking is so powerful. Learning how much power words have, I think is the most important thing I've learned. Throughout the years, just thinking about what I wanted to express and then seeing this team behind me here to support me, not just my classmates, my professors and counsel, but my family members as well. Having the opportunity to write and talk and be myself and just work through it all. I have loved it so much. I've enjoyed every moment of it. And I don't know where I would be if I hadn't had this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I have to say a little bit about my experience with you, Jay. I can remember we hit a point last summer, I believe it was last summer, where things were getting a little dicey. There were a lot of writer's block moments happening, and I had had writer's block before, and I know what writer's block feels like, and you continue to push through that and found a way to break that block and continue to write, and that was a really beautiful moment and shows that deep level of grit that you have. And it was a very personal story to you. Hi, by the way, mom. Uh, I'm so thankful for your story and I'm so thankful for the privilege of working with you. I think that I'm gonna let Hannah speak next. Let me just find her. I can't find Hannah. Why can I not find her? I'm, I'm here, do you see me waving? I'm here. Yes! Oh, I found you, Hannah. Hi, everyone. Uh, I was in the capstone program last year, but I had some good time to reflect on my memories and my experiences. And I really enjoyed it, the energy that was here. Coming into Gallaudet the first year, year and a half, I was still learning sign. I didn't feel you know, fully confident in myself. And this really helped me. 
this validated my experience, validated my future work, um, just forced me to focus on improving the experience of mainstream students. And I mean, that break every week, meeting with you all, getting that break from sports life and project life and other life, it was really great. You all really changed my life. I really enjoyed it. I remember when you started and you did not know any sign and sometimes you can just tell whether or not somebody's going to have it or they won't. And when I met you within a year, I could just see this vast improvement in your language acquisition and your signing. And I really noticed that maybe it was because of your everyday conversation. Maybe it was your teammates and playing sports that helped you thrive. But you really, you really thrived when it came to picking up the language, and I enjoyed seeing that. And I know that you will be a great itinerant teacher. Uh, Thank you. Uh, this is a much longer program than I had ever dreamed of, uh, or typically I just want to close by having a fun and light video from the students.
Okay, thank you for this. I know it was quite a long program, but I wanted to ensure everybody had the opportunity to celebrate. Everyone deserves it. I'm really going to miss this group. I've really, really enjoyed working with all of you. Good luck to everyone. All, and thank you to all of the family and faculty and staff and everyone who showed up and stayed. And as sure as you've seen throughout the videos, you've seen uh, some students in front of mountains, some in front of forests, you can see that everybody is in different places, but we've all united here to celebrate. So enjoy this moment and thank you for that. Good night, everyone. <laughs>